Yeah, joined now by chair of the New Mexico Republican Party, Steve Pierce. And we're talking about the Republicans plan to reopen the government today. Now, the governor just issued an additional two weeks on the stay at home order and is working on a plan, she says, to reopen the government and businesses. Uh, what do you want to see right now, Steve? Well, her main difference with the governor is that she has different rules for locally owned mom and pops and for the big out of state corporations. She's allowing the big box stores to bring all the customers in while the, the local owned businesses are closed. Uh, that number one doesn't make a lot of sense to me because the congestion in the big box stores is much heavier. It was just in the grocery store a couple of days ago. They had a sign posted 204 people uh, inside at one time as the maximum. Uh, no mom and pop business in New Mexico is going to have that many customers. And so we have uh, said continuously that we're going to speak up for the small guy, for the man and woman who's making their business work in this state. You know, about half the, the small businesses are women owned and then about uh, 25 percent, about a quarter of them are owned by Hispanic uh, business owners. And so you just say we're punishing some of the groups that we're trying to help the most. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But the yeah. big deal is that when you uh, spend money at one of the big box stores by five o'clock in the afternoon, all of your money and all the money that was spent there that day is out of state in a bank in their headquarters town. Uh, if you shop at a locally owned business, that money stays here, it goes into a local bank, then it's available for the bank to lend out to anyone who wants to buy a car, or wants to buy a house. But when we starve the state for capital, we're doing long term damage to it. And I don't think that the governor is considering that long term damage in her executive orders. So we're simply uh, urging fairness. We'll leave it to her and her uh, medical team to determine what is safe, what's not safe. But we feel like that the rules should be the same for small business as well as the big uh, out of state corporations. And we're talking about because food is essential service, places like Target or Walmart that have food. It's not just the food aisles that are open. You're saying it's because the entire store is open. They're open for business, their clothing department, et cetera. Absolutely. You can't buy uh, right now is springtime and you cannot buy at your local nursery the plants, the fertilizer, uh, the gardening supplies that you might need at your nursery. But you can go into one of the big box stores, Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, Walmart, whoever, and carry out all the spring supplies. Again, we're starving local businesses on behalf of of out of state giants that don't give a clip about New Mexico. Right. They don't provide the fabric of the community. Uh, when you're looking for someone to sponsor your soccer team, uh, I know who you go to. You go to the small business owner, sure. and uh, that's what our communities are. What do we Plus, do? What do we do of, to? Many of the big box stores are not in some of the rural areas. We have counties that still don't have any cases at all, yeah. and people in those counties are being directed to go into the population centers where they can be exposed. Uh, many times, I think that we could do a much better job of of dissecting the state and figuring out what we can do to support each uh, individual demographic in each individual area. I was just going to say, what do we do to fix that, though, in the Albuquerque's and the bigger areas that have the big box stores? I mean, should we open up more businesses, are you saying? Well, again, uh, we're uh, the governor is shutting down businesses in those small town and telling people they've got to drive to the big box stores. Uh, there's one woman that we were talking with last week. She has a package store, a restaurant and a tavern out at just an intersection of two highways in the middle of Colfax County, 20 miles to the nearest town. They shut them down uh, so you can buy liquor at uh, at one of the, the, the big box stores, but you can't go into this place. You have to drive 20 miles one way and then 20 miles back to, uh, to get food or right. to uh, go to the package store. Those are the things that we're saying that somebody has got to be a voice for the small guys, for the people who are making this state work and who are going to be here long after the other folks are gone. Steve, I appreciate the time today. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Todd.